Monaco took on Nantes needing a win to restore their three-point lead at the top of the table after Saturday victories for Chasers Paris Saint-Germain and Nice. Leonardo Jardim's men saw off Marseille in a 4-3 cup thriller in midweek and the Portuguese coach made eight changes to his team for the visit of the Canaries to the Principality on Sunday. However, captain and top scorer Radamel Falcao was still out with a groin injury. The Stade Louis II held a minute's applause to remember the great Raymond Copper, who died on Friday aged 85. The away team came into the match on a four-game unbeaten run, but unluckily fell behind in just the fourth minute. Bernardo Silva raced forwards, and after his shot was blocked, a ricochet took the ball straight to Kylian Mbappe, and with goalkeeper Maxime Dupe stranded, the 18-year-old forward hooked in his 14th goal of a breakthrough campaign. Only a heavy touch denied Mbappe the chance to complete a brace. Before Monaco keeper Daniel Subasic did well to hold on to a well-struck free kick from Nantes to left back Lucas Lima. The lead was doubled with two minutes left of the first half as Thomas Lamar's corner found its way to Kamil Glick and the Polish centre-back sliced volley fell perfectly for Valer Germain. The standing skipper did brilliantly to bring the ball down on his chest and chip it into the corner, with the injured Falcao watching on from the stands. That's 13 goals now this term for the 26-year-old, just one less than he managed while on loan at Nice last season. There was still time for the host to score again, though, before the interval against opponents who were clearly out of their depth. Portuguese attacking midfielder Silva whipped over a delicious cross, and Mbappe added the faintest of touches to take the ball past Dupe and grab a double. The game was all but over at half-time, with Monaco continuing the form that has made them Europe's highest scoring team this season, with 120 goals in all competitions. After the interval, they quickly went in search of number 121, but after Fabinho's overhit cross was sent back into the middle by Benjamin Mendy, Germain headed wide when a brace was there for the taking. But Nantes continued to ship opportunities at the back and Coffee Gigi clumsily gave away a penalty by kicking Lemar. Brazilian spot kick expert Fabinho stepped up and sent Dupe the wrong way to score his ninth goal of the season, eight of which have come from penalties. Monaco continued to flood forwards, looking to score five for the seventh time this term, but teenage substitute Irvin Cardona was denied his maiden senior goal by Dupe. Monaco 4, Nantes nil the final score, and Jardim's side stay three points clear at the summit as they start to close in on a first French league title in 17 years.